Good afternoon. We have sunshine and stronger winds across Cala Land with a high near 81 for Sioux Falls, 78 in Aberdeen, 80 in Pier, and 70 in Rapid City. We'll lose some of the wind overnight, but have partly cloudy skies, 62 Sioux Falls, 58 in Aberdeen, 57 in Pier, and 48 in Rapid City. We do have a chance for morning rain or thunderstorms here in eastern Cala Land. We'll take a closer look coming up as we begin midday in Cala Land. Live from Kelloland Media Group, midday in Kelloland. South Dakota Game Fish and Parks say that the Big Sioux River is infested with an invasive species. Plus, House Republicans outline why they're set on an impeachment inquiry into President Biden. I'm Skyler Henry on Capitol Hill with the allegations and how Democrats are responding. Good afternoon and thanks for having us in. A former Sioux Falls dance instructor is in jail, accused of soliciting a minor for sex. Court documents say 30-year-old Kevin Thongban contacted a teenage girl who took dance lessons with him through Champion Legacy on Snapchat. The documents say he requested explicit photos from her and sent explicit photos of himself. He faces 10 counts of solicitation of a minor. We'll have a deeper look at the case later tonight on Kelloland News. The Big Sioux River is now considered infested with zebra mussels, according to the South Dakota Game, Fish, and Parks Department. The GFP says the Big Sioux River from Lake Campesca to the Missouri River is now considered infested, and high-profile signs will be placed on access areas. Officials say that fall is an important time of year for detecting zebra mussels. They encourage people who believe they might have found a mussel on their boat, dock, or lift to contact the local GFP office along with a photo and location of the suspect mussels. Turning to weather, we could see some heavier weather tomorrow morning, right, Megan? Looks like there is a chance of severe weather as we go into tomorrow morning in eastern Kelloland. Right now, sunshine and stronger winds around the area, 74 degrees in Sioux Falls. Southeast winds at 19 miles an hour. And in Rapid City, sunshine and 68. North winds at 24. We have been seeing some higher wind gusts as well. On satellite, just a few clouds in north central and northwestern South Dakota. But nothing is coming out of those clouds. Our next chance at some rain comes early tomorrow morning. Right now, 74 in Yankton, 70 in Watertown, 72 in Mobridge, 66 degrees in Custer, and 74 in Valentine. We do have that strong south wind through eastern Kelloland right now at 10 to 20 miles an hour. And like I said, even some higher wind gusts are possible. So for today, with that strong wind, plenty of sunshine, 81 the high for Sioux Falls, 78 in Aberdeen, 80 in Pier, and 70 in Rapid City. Central Kelloland keeps that strong wind around overnight, otherwise partly cloudy skies, 62 in Sioux Falls, 58 in Aberdeen, 57 in Pier, and 48 in Rapid City. Here's a look at that chance of severe weather tomorrow morning mainly along and east of the James River. Hail and strong winds are going to be the main threats, and this is for tomorrow morning. Once those storms clear out, we'll have stronger winds, partly cloudy skies, 87 in Sioux Falls, 75 in Aberdeen, 74 in Pier, and 69 in Rapid City. And then on Saturday, partly cloudy skies, stronger winds sticking around southeastern Kelloland, 88 in Sioux Falls, 82 in Aberdeen, 83 in Pier and 75 in Rapid City. Sunday and Monday are going to be hot as well, and we could even have some temperatures in record territory. We'll take a closer look at that with your seven-day forecast in just a little bit. All right, thank you, Megan. The South Dakota Rock and Rollers Hall of Fame is set to welcome 15 new members on Saturday. The list of inductees includes Corey and the Fireflies. The Sioux Falls band churned out hit after hit in the late 90s and early 2000s, including sometimes Pop Fly, Everyone, and She's Coming Back Again. Lead singer Corey Van Sickle has teamed up with a dozen Fireflies over the years and will share the stage with nine of them for a special performance on Saturday night. Well, it's going to be really cool to play with all these uh, past fireflies. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a ton of family and friends and fans in the, in the Alliance and, and some, some business friends, too, that have supported through the years. So I'm um, just excited for a fun night. 
The Hall of Fame induction ceremony is set for 6 o'clock Saturday evening at the Alliance in Sioux Falls. And tonight's Eye on Kelland, Corey and a few of the Fireflies tell us what it means to them to be entering the South Dakota Rock and Rollers Hall of Fame. Veteran actor Michael Gambon, who is known to many for his portrayal of Hogwarts headmaster Albus Dumbledore in six of the eight Harry Potter films, has died. He was 82. No matter what role he took on in a career that lasted more than five decades, Gambon was always instantly recognizable by the deep and drawling tones of his voice. He was cast as the much-loved Dumbledore after the death of his predecessor in 2002. Early this morning, U.S. Army Private Travis King, the American soldier who was freed after crossing into North Korea, finally landed on U.S. soil in San Antonio, Texas. King was initially detained in July after crossing the North Korean border while on a private tour of the demilitarized zone and was the center of months-long diplomatic talks between multiple countries. The first impeachment inquiry hearing. President Joe Biden is underway on Capitol Hill today. Multiple Republican-led committees are looking into whether the president abused his federal office to enrich his family. House Democrats called the inquiry a, quote, sham, a farce. Skyler Henry reports from Capitol Hill. Joe Biden abused his public office. The head of the Republican-led House Oversight Committee accused President Biden of corruption and abuse of public office as it launched its first impeachment inquiry hearing. The House Oversight Committee has uncovered how the Bidens and their associates created over 20 shell companies, most of which were created when Joe Biden was vice president, and raked in over $20 million. Now, what were the Bidens selling to make all this money? Joe Biden himself. The alleged misconduct centers around the president's son, Hunter Biden, and his overseas business dealings. GOP-led committees have been investigating the president and his son for months. So far, no evidence has been produced to show the president broke the law or benefited financially. Democrats slammed the hearing as a sham. If the Republicans had a smoking gun or even a dripping water pistol, they would be presenting it today, but they've got nothing on Joe Biden. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy originally said he wouldn't launch an impeachment inquiry unless he had the votes for it, but he reversed course after mounting pressure from hardline conservatives. An impeachment inquiry is simply empowering the House to a greater level to get the documents they need to answer questions. The committee pointed out this is only the inquiry stage to determine if there is sufficient grounds for the full House to consider impeachment. The White House has called the hearing a baseless stunt. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Traditionally, the full House votes to launch an impeachment inquiry, as it did for then-President Donald Trump's first impeachment back in 2019. But it didn't initially vote for an inquiry for Trump's second impeachment in 2021 in the aftermath of the January 6th Capitol attack.